I appreciate you all for coming out and joining me in the viewing of my senior defense multimedia presentation summarizing my powerful high school experience at Common Ground. Before the viewing of my senior defense begins, I would like to take the time to address that the purpose of my senior defense is to convey some of my accomplishments with you that thoroughly demonstrate how I have grown as a leader during my time at Common Ground High School and how I have gained important 21st century skills that will prepare me to succeed after high school. Hello everybody, my name is Liliana McIntosh, I am 18 years old, and I am now finishing up my senior year at Common Ground High School. I was born in Salem, Massachusetts on January 2nd, 2005, and a little while after that, my parents and I settled in Connecticut, which is where I've lived since. I am a biracial young woman with my mom being Hispanic and my dad being African American. I have a total of three siblings, two brothers and a half sister, but we call her our sister. And out of all three of them, I am the oldest sibling, which makes me the one my younger siblings look up to the most. My brothers and I lived in Cheshire for about the first 12 years of my life with our mother, since our parents divorced when we were very young. But then we moved to New Haven with our father, stepmother, and sister in 2017. My brothers stayed there for a couple of years before deciding to move back in with our mom, who had recently moved to Southington. But as for me, I made the executive decision to stay in New Haven in order to finish high school at Common Ground. And now, for a couple fun facts about myself. My favorite foods are macaroni and cheese and sushi. I have a very intense phobia to vomit, also known as emetophobia, meaning I am deathly terrified of individuals vomiting in front of me or near me, and I am just as deathly terrified of myself vomiting. My favorite color is red. I sometimes produce music during my downtime and even produce a song for my guidance class followed by a music video to go along with it. It was essentially for a guidance competition where all guidances had to make a one minute video about our power standard of wonder, which ended up winning. Here's a brief snippet of our winning music video. Now see the sunshine, feel so warm, go approach things differently, does no harm, yeah, mind so clear, what a wake up call, had the innovation and never take the fall, gotta use that brain if you're gonna pull through, think about everything that you must do, keep your eyes on the price of yourself, may be true, if you fail or succeed now, it's all up to you. Yeah, that was very corny. And finally, I had the highest grade point average of my middle school graduating class of 2019 and was the valedictorian. I also performed an inspirational speech at my graduation in dedication to this massive academic achievement. We all are stars that shine bright in our own light. When our turn comes to step up, we will rise to the occasion. We must stand up for people when they cannot stand up for themselves. We must uplift those whose spirits may be down. I encourage all of you to be this positive influence wherever this next chapter in high school takes you. Don't ever stop working to becoming the best version of you. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on behalf of the 8th grade graduating class. I have a couple of hobbies that I absolutely love doing. I love going out with friends and family. Whether it's to the mall to go shopping, or to a restaurant to eat good food. To a family gathering, or simply to my mom's house to visit her and my brothers. To an amusement park, or simply to a bike trail to go biking. Going out and doing activities at different locations just really sets the bar for me. I also really love acting and performing in plays. Something about putting on a show for a large audience absolutely thrills me and boosts my confidence in so many ways. 
Playing as a character other than myself on stage is also something that fascinates me about acting. He thinks Sebastian proved true imagination, all proved true, that I, dear brother, be now taken for you! I have mostly been involved in musicals and Shakespeare plays, which all have been such amazing experiences for me. I hope to act in more performances in the future. At first, my leadership definition had something to do with helping others in need. You know, when somebody is feeling sad or having a bad day, you offer your presence and try to talk to them about what's bothering them and work something out together. I believe that that alone was what made somebody a leader throughout my freshman and sophomore year. But when I became a junior and started learning about the many historical leaders that made change with their advocacy and leadership in U.S. history, which was a class I took for two semesters, that officially changed my perspective on what a leader actually is. I was also involved in an educational change internship, which primarily focused on making changes to our school to make it a better and more enjoyable place for both staff and students. That truly made me feel like a leader because it helped me to exercise standing up for what I believed in to make change and then actually putting forth the action to make it happen. I now believe that advocating your beliefs and putting in the effort to actually do something about them is what truly makes someone a leader. With that said, here's my official new and improved leadership definition. Leadership equals action. A leader is someone who takes pride in what they believe in and actually takes the time to stand up for it. Someone who is a powerful leader in my eyes is Martin Luther King Jr. This is because he stood up against racism and segregation despite receiving discriminatory backlash and even being arrested and thrown in jail for his actions. He was a Baptist minister and a social activist who led the civil rights movement in the U.S. in the 1950s. King gave his most famous speech, I Have a Dream, at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., to a massive group of civil rights marchers to persuade the federal government to act upon racial inequality. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. In the end, everything played out successfully. He also led a bus boycott with activist Rosa Parks, who refused to give up her seat on a bus in 1955 and got arrested for it. Because of his advocacy and determination to end segregation, King won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Unfortunately, King was assassinated and passed away in 1968. King is an inspiring leader to me because his actions relate to my leadership definition. He took pride in what he believed in and persistently stood up for it. He did so by standing up to segregation and racial inequality and putting in the effort to make it so that black people had civil rights and freedom. And he did so in a very peaceful, liberal manner. If it weren't for King's bravery and dedication, I today probably wouldn't still be attending school with people of different races and ethnicities as a biracial African American young woman. I have absolutely loved my experience as a high school student at Common Ground. I have learned some pretty valuable lessons from my teachers and classmates along the way, and most importantly, I have grown and matured as a person over time. There are two experiences in particular that vividly exhibit my growth, humbly leading to my two power reflections and artifacts. When I was a sophomore in the fall of 2021 post-pandemic, I discovered during guidance that all students had the opportunity and the choice to come on campus for Community Service Day and partake in service activities on November 25th, 2021. After I found out about this, I was super excited because I had had the desire to interact with my classmates whom I haven't seen since March 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and now I finally had the opportunity to fulfill that desire. I remember being so excited to the point where I woke up very early just to get ready for the day ahead. After getting dropped off on campus, I remember feeling extremely nervous to see everybody again due to the fact that I haven't seen them since March of 2020. I was very quiet at first due to the fact that my ability to socialize with people other than my family was enveloped after isolating at home for so long. But once the staff started assigning everybody groups and putting us all in the mood, I eventually began to warm up and feel comfortable again. 
The staff even provided everyone with hot chocolate to start the day off. I ended up getting put in a group with my classmates for my guidance and we interacted. Went on a hike. How you doing? Nothing, I like to take videos. Ate s'mores. Do you even know how many marshmallows you've had? And laughed together around the campfire. We also discussed our life statuses and how the pandemic has impacted each other. What I have learned through this experience is how much I have missed being on campus with everybody and how much everybody meant to me. I have also learned and recognized that one of my biggest passions is being able to talk to people. For this experience, I decided to give myself the power letter R for respect because I represented great communication and empathy towards my classmates. I was able to communicate with them about my struggles as a way to respectfully relate to them in a way since I knew that I wasn't the only one who was facing challenges as they had also communicated with me about their struggles. This experience relates to my leadership definition because I was able to take pride in my struggles and put forth the action to stand up for them by actively talking about them with my classmates which evidently made a change within myself because I was able to recognize that we all struggle in life in some way and that it is okay to openly talk about our challenges, no matter how silly they might seem or might sound. Now, I am more open and expressive when it comes to my own challenges I face. Last semester, I had the eye-opening opportunity to be a part of an outdoor class known as Outdoor Leadership, where we learned all about leadership in the outdoors and went on several camping trips. The camping trip that represents my growth the most would have to be when our Outdoor Leadership class went to upstate New York over at the Harriman AMC Outdoor Center last fall. On October 13th, 2022, our outdoor leadership instructors, Mr. Gami and Mr. Stone, had us help load two travel vans with our personal belongings, food, tents, and sleeping bags during our morning classes. And then at 12 p.m., we got into the vans and began our beautiful two-hour journey to our camping site. Once we arrived and finished unloading the vans, we were surrounded by colorful trees and a wonderful view of a large lake near the many wooden platforms we would be building our tents on which is what we did after exploring the area a bit. The sticks are working in the... After setting up camp and cooking out for dinner, it started raining, so we got our raincoats on and walked to an indoor cabin so we wouldn't get soaked for the rest of the evening. There, we played games and fooled around with each other until it was time to go to sleep in our tents. The next morning, we cooked breakfast and got ready for the day's activities, which was canoeing in the lake. I got the hang of the activity rather quickly considering it was my very first time canoeing and after taking a group photo in the lake, I beat everyone back to shore. Finally, we packed up our camping stuff and personal belongings, loaded the vans, and went home. What I essentially took away from this trip was to make the best out of any situation that may come your way. In the middle of the evening, we were going to have a bonfire outside and make s'mores. However, it started downpouring and we all had to make the transition inside for the rest of the evening. It was very cold and wet. And although I was very happy to finally be inside of a dry building, it was still pretty cold and I was still drenched and I wanted nothing more than to just sit in front of a fire and warm up as originally planned. Sticking to a plan is what essentially keeps me well maintained and whenever the plan changes, it sort of messes me up. Thankfully, I managed to distract myself by participating in group activities inside, such as card games and practicing for a mini talent show. I also got to play around with my friends and watch a movie with them. Thanks to all of those events that took place, I was successfully able to adapt and make the best out of the situation I had come across and ended up having a very good time. A power letter I would like to give myself for this experience in particular is the letter W for wonder since I was able to represent adaptability and test out my problem solving skills when I was presented with a challenge, which was enduring through a massive rainstorm. This field trip helped me to grow as an individual by allowing me to gain the experience of camping for the very first time and to recognize what survival skills I need when I'm spending the night outdoors. Mm -hmm.